Aquarius, a beautiful soul. How are you? My name is Alicia. Welcome. Welcome back. This is Empath Tarot, where spirits' messages directly correlate with being highly sensitive here on planet Earth. Now, in this reading, we will be pulling some messages that will help uncover any abundance blocks you are looking to unblock money or love related if there is a certain amount of money you would like to manifest into your beautiful life or that special somebody go ahead hit that like button and subscribe if you're interested in receiving a personal reading with myself and spirit all of the details will be down in the description box below along with my husband if you haven't yet check him out he's over at 7d tarot and be sure to stick around until the end of this reading we will be pulling a final message from the universe now the good news is aquarius is you are on your way to seeing things from a different perspective which will in turn allow Allow your life to evolve to the next level of what you're looking for. We have feeling it has something to do with a relationship. So if you're in the midst right now of um, building a relationship, strengthening a relationship, um, and just growing together with your partner, understand that right now this is this is your calling. This is your calling to focus on the strength and the unity and the bond you have with the person that you share your life with romantically. It's very important that this is nurtured. This seed, this journey must be nurtured. Otherwise, you're going to grow to become a part. You're going to um, feel separate from one another. And that's the last thing you want. Because when you share a relationship or when you share a home or a life with somebody, and even if you don't live together, you still share energetic connection because you're very connected to one another uh, energetically. So if you don't share a bond, if you're not a partnership, if you're not growing together, if you're not building together, if you are not united, there will be huge separation in everything else you do then. Because that feeling of separation will linger and it will be brought forth into the other creations that you do in your life. Everything that you do, every everything that you do, every whatever if, whatever you are interested in, right? If it's not coming from an authentic place, it's not going to be your creation. So it won't be sustainable and it won't be fun, right? And it won't be simple. It'll ma will make it complicated. We think we have to do all these things around it, right? It's like um, whenever it's not our own, it's always complicated and messy and chaotic, right? Oh, we think we have to do it like that. Oh, we don't do it like that. It's not going to work out. It should be like this, right? And so that's just going to be it's way too much energy for us. And we're going to get wrapped up in focusing on just one thing or stressing our whole lives. So we want you to know, first and foremost, universe brings the message of there are infinite resources available to me. Write this down. There are infinite resources available to me. Resources. This is always the case, right? Your, um, how you will uh, feel this easier and stronger is if you are united consciously with the person that you share your life with. You can't be looking at them or seeing them separated. You have to understand that you are a team energetically and you have to be connected to that partnership. And the reason why this message is coming through so passionately is we have the wedding card that came forward from your angels. Uh, we're gonna read this to you because whether you're married or in a long-term relationship or even just starting a relationship, or even desire a relationship at that. This is very important to understand. So listen to this. Marriage is the union of two souls joined in love, mutual respect, and commitment. It signifies a desire to deepen love over time. Your wedding day is a testament to your well-founded faith in love's power. Continually breathe life into that faith and love, dearest one. And so whether you are married or have been married or have, are not married, but you are in a relationship, it's irrelevant. You've committed to one another. And it is about mutual respect, and it is about commitment, and it is about bringing forward energy that um, supports the other person and that allows them to feel free. So not bringing your garbage to the team, right? Basically, don't bring your garbage to the team. Don't bring your work life. Don't bring your stress. Don't bring your complaints. Don't bring your sorrows. You bring support. You bring love. You bring joy. And you bring, uh, you, you bring the good stuff, right? And then that energy rubs off on your partner. And then the two of you become bonded. But what happens is people come together and they bring their shit to the party, right? Excuse my French. But this is something I'm pretty passionate about because I used to do this, right? I used to bring my garbage to the party. And, and I wondered why everyone thought I stank. You know what I mean? As they didn't get it because I was raised um, by basically normal conversation was to put people down. Normal conversation was to like make jokes that were condescending and rude. That was like normal conversation for me growing up. And I just spoke how I was raised and it wasn't really well reciprocated until I started to realize, wait a minute, wait just a minute, right? This isn't, this is making me not feel very good. And then I went through the whole self-discovery journey 
And uh, my husband and I have done a lot of growth together. And it was this realization that the energy that you bring to something is the energy that you get back, right? So it's so important to bring your best self, your, your highest intentions, because that's what you're going to get back. And when you bring that, that's when you're going to have all these resources. That's when you're going to have all these ideas, all these blessings, all this awareness, all of this growth is going to come in, right? So right now we can see that there is a lack of, you feel, you feel like things are not fair, right? With that justice card in reverse, things don't feel fair. And it's leaving you feeling really scattered in your focus, Knight of Swords, right? You, you want things to grow. You're looking for progress. You're looking for new beginnings. You're looking for happiness, right? With your, with your relationships, with your career, more money, your health, right? But you're fo in focus. You're scattered. Things are not feeling, again, energetically fair for you right? And it's because of not have it bringing the energy that you want to see. You're not bringing that energy, right? And that's the problem. And then you're looking at your outer world and blaming it. And the thing with that is that's putting the cart before the horse, beautiful soul, right? So always know all you got to do is live in a state of gratitude and you, whatever that means for you, you got to make that happen. Practice gratitude and you bring that gratitude, stateful, grateful, grateful, that attitude of gratitude, you bring that to the team. You bring that and create a power, a powerhouse, a foundation. You bring that energy anywhere and very quickly, everything will start to um, go in your favor. Everything will start to turn around for you, right? So it's about having this awakening and realizing what do you want? What do you really want in your life? What are you looking for most, right? It's like, it's like if you wanted to start a family, but you were rocky in your relationship. You don't just want to have a, a start a family if you're rocky in your relationship. That doesn't even make sense. That's like building a house on like, like cracks, you know, and like a weak foundation, you know? It's like you don't want to like start a business with your partner, but like the two of you have no communication skills. It's like, you know, yeah, for sure start the business, but like recognize you got to nurture the communication too. You got to nurture the love too. Uh, we have to understand that we can't let things wither. You know, we have to nurture every journey that we're on with our relationships, with our careers, with our health. We have to nurture, right? Our kids, we have to nurture. And if we don't have energy to nurture what we are doing, then we got to let go of something else we're doing. And generally, it has something to do with um, uh, some, worry, uh, some area of worry or focus, or excuse me, some area of worry or anxiety. So... Ten of Wands in reverse. We take things personally. We 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 recognize we gotta let things go, right? When we take things personally, we gotta let things go. And guess what happens when we do that? That's when all this creative, new, beautiful, exciting inspiration comes in. Page of Wands, excitement, energy, passion, love, right? That's what we're looking for, and it comes in, right? It comes in when we realize that we gotta let go of the things that we keep complaining about, and we gotta start doing the things that we that make us feel uncomfortable. Look at this comfort card. Comfort withers us. We die in comfort. You do not want to be comfortable. And that doesn't mean that what you do has to feel like suffering. It just means that you have to constantly be progressing and be willing to say, you know what? I'm going to go for it and see what happens. You know what? Let's do it. You know what? Let's try it. Let's do that thing that makes me feel uncomfortable, but I know it's going to get me to where I want to go. Let me go leave my a love note for the person that I've just been spending time practicing hating. I'm going to go and consciously make the person that I have been practicing all these, you know, you know, all these disconnecting thoughts around. I'm going to bring them a compliment today. I'm going to go do something nice for them. I'm going to do the last thing that my ego wants to do, right? That's what you do. You get uncomfortable. And then what happens? That leads you back to your home, back to who you are, Aquarius, the compassionate being that you are, the soul that connects and the soul that gets and the soul that attracts abundance. That's who you are. But the more you practice in disconnection and the more you practice in negativity, is the more you get yourself uh, farther from who you really are, right? Everything in life has to be feel good for you. It has to feel energetically like the feeling of joy and expansion. And so there, if there's something in your life that you're not nurturing enough, it's going to feel separated and it's going to feel negative. And that just means it needs your love. It needs your sparkle. It needs your unicorn energy, right? Your, your beautiful superpower energy of being authentically you, being a rare beauty, right? And that's who you are. But we get lost in this dense energy of planet Earth, right? We forget who we are. We forget we have to nurture the energies that we, we want to grow, we want to build, right? We, we want all these things, but we're not nurturing what we have. That's the disconnection. You see, that's the separation. That's what creates separation. It's that I want all this stuff but all this stuff is, is is cracked and broken what I'm doing well it's like we just want the other stuff because we're seeing the cracked and brokenness but we have to nurture what we have to attract in the more you see you see beautiful soul 
So your universe message today is not, it's not only about being right. Universe says, in all tests of character, when two viewpoints are pitted against each other, in the final analysis, the thing that will strike you the most is not who was right or wrong, strong or weak, wise or foolish, but who went to the greater length in considering the other's perspective. Don't you agree, the universe? It's about bringing forward compassion. It's not about being right. As a matter of fact, the kindest thing you can do is let someone else think that they are right. And you know in your soul the truth and you let them believe it, that they are where they need to be, right? That's the kindest thing you could ever do. And that's a practice, but it does work. I promise you on that one, right? So we'll let you screenshot that if you want. Take a pause right now. Just read that for yourself because that's really deep and that's really powerful, right? It's just, it's really about seeing the other person's perspective and understanding that sometimes someone views things from their experiences a certain way and they may really believe, they may really believe that they are speaking the truth. And you know what? Again, in those moments, let them, let them believe they are right. And you hold it and you breathe through that energy and you know, you know, you say to your spirit, we know. We know the truth and that's okay. Everyone's on their own journey, but we know. And you let go of any animosity or feeling like you need to justify yourself or prove yourself or explain yourself. You let all that go because all that's going to do is poison you. But you know the truth. And that's what it is to really be in tune with our divine feminine is understanding the truth and recognizing when the time is right for that truth to be unveiled. It's not up to you to prove your point. It's up to you to let spirit Guide, guide you through the journey, but for you to understand your truth and not feel like you have to, um, you know, justify it. We love you so much. We hope you enjoyed your reading. We hope there are messages in here for you. And if there was, like and subscribe. We truly appreciate you. Spirit loves you. I love you. And until our next reading, keep shining, baby.